وَإِذْ أَخَذَ رَبُّكَ مِنْ بَنِي آدَمَ مِنْ ظُهُورِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَأَشْهَدَهُمْ وَأَشْهَدَهُمْ عَلَى أَنفُسِهِمْ أَلَسْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ قَالُوا بَلَى شهدنا أن تقولوا يوم القيامة إنا كنا عن هذا غافلين وإذ أخذ الله ميثاق النبيين لما آتيتكم من كتاب وحكمة ثم جاءكم رسول مصدق لما معكم لتؤمنن به ولتنصرن قال أأقررتم وأخذتم على ذلكم إصري قالوا أقررنا قال فاشهدوا وأنا معكم من الشاهدين Sayyid Muhammad Naqib bin Ali bin Abdullah bin Muhsin al attas was born on September the 5th, 1931, in Bogor, West Java. About a thousand five hundred years from the time of his grandfather, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Growing up between Java and Johor, between the madrasa and the English school, he spent much of his youth pondering over Malay manuscripts on religion, history and literature, as well as the Western canon. He underwent military training at Sandhurst while observing the Islamic elements of respecting order, discipline and loyalty. The experience continues to influence some of his views and ways as a scholar of Islam and administrator. Soon, he attended University of Malaya and wrote two important works in his twenties. In 1959, he was selected by the Canadian government to study at the Institute of Islamic Studies at McGill University, Canada. His thesis on Nuruddin al-Raniri puts Raniri as a Malay scholar on the same level of others of that century. He also met his wife there, Moira Maureen Latifa. Later, he was invited to pursue his doctorate at the School of Oriental and African Studies in London. Sayyid Muhammad Naqib al attas never regarded himself as a product of these Western institutions. Rather, he regarded the great ulama of the past such as his own grandfather and Al-Ghazali, among others, as his true teachers. Neither marriage nor fatherhood slowed him down or distracted him from his life's purpose, to clarify truth from falsehood and uphold justice in word and deed. In the 70s, he would be the co-founder of University Kabangsaan Malaysia and became a leading voice in Malaysia's intellectual and nation-building discourse. By now, this path became a full-time vocation, a sacred trust, to continue and revive the efforts of earlier luminaries. His experiences engaging with Muslims worldwide also led to one of his great works, Islam and Secularism. In the late 80s, the early seeds of his ideas came to fruition in the founding of a world-class learning institution, Istak, an unparalleled achievement in the modern world where he was its principal architect, landscaper and interior designer. Sayyid Muhammad Naqib al attas wrote some of the most important works of our times, on our history, on ourself and our existence. Being the 37th descendant of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, Sayyid Muhammad Naqib al attas is aware of the challenges life throws his way. And much like his forefathers and earlier luminaries of Islam, nothing will stop him from bringing the truth to light.